All right, so I've had the Samsung S10 Plus for a while, and I know that there is something, there's a software that we can use to use or share uh, our phone on our Windows PC. Um, so I was doing some research and I found out that there's something called Samsung, Samsung Dex um, that we can use. And so I wanna show you guys how to go through the installation process and get your phone connected to your PC so that you can actually manipulate their phone screen using your keyboard and mouse, right? And of course, I'm doing this with the Samsung S10 Plus, right? Samsung S10 Plus. So let me show you guys um, that process. So what you do is that you go to the Samsung Dex or Samsung website, um, and I'm, I just searched in for Samsung Dex, and it took me to this page, right? So I downloaded the software for Windows 7, Windows 10. I had it downloaded already, so I'm just kind of redoing that. Um, what is to note is that if you have your phone connected to the device uh, or to the computer, it will ask you to disconnect the phone until the installation is completed, right? So I want to open the software, click on run. Um, yeah. So you notice it says you'll be able to control your phone with your mouse and keyboard and also drag and drop files between the phone and the computer, right? Um, it also gave me a uh, caution earlier that if you're using it, that your phone might get hot for if you're using your phone for extended period of time. So it's like just using your phone as your computer system, uh, moving files across. And of course, it has, it has your phone running for a long duration of time. If you, or if you have your phone running for a long duration of time, um, just keep a check that it doesn't overheat on you. So I run after installation, I'll create a desktop shortcut. So yes. And so what this is doing is that it's just installing the DEX for the PC. And again, the caution is that you don't want to have your phone connected during the installation process. And of course, the software does warn you about having a phone connected. So I'm going to connect this um, S10 to the PC and manipulate my phone using the keyboard and mouse. So I'll pause the video here and I'll return after the installation is complete, hoping I don't miss any stuff that is needed, right? Because I don't, I'm not sure how long this installation will take. All right, so the installation just completed. Um, took approximately three to four minutes. Uh, I noticed that I had to connect the phone and reconnect it back. Um, but it went through to the 100% and it says that you, you're not ready to use Samsung Dex, right? So I'm okay for that. Let's see what happens next. I have my phone connected in now. Um, so you, you need to allow Windows Defender. I I use Windows Defender for my firewall, which is default. It's built into Windows. So I'll allow that to have access. Top start now on your phone. All right, so it says start casting with uh, Samsung Dex. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm just reading off the phone. It says it'll have access to all the information visible to the screen and blah, blah, blah. Click on start now. Wow, there we go. So it's like having my phone running as a desktop computer having my phone running as a desktop computer so I can already see that I can open, for example, setting for my phone. And that's my features on my phone. Let me see if the phone is still usable while we have that. Yes, it is. I turned on the camera there, right? as you can see. Well, I'm using the wrong, wrong thing. So I turned on the camera there. The camera is still functional. I think what happens here is that you're using the power of your phone um, as a desktop, right? So it is as simple as that. You're installing Samsung DeX to your device, and it gives you the opportunity to then use your um, Samsung S10 um, Plus, for, for example, 
um, the one I'm using here, um, with the key, key and the keyboard and the mouse of your computer, right? So it, I guess it functions like a desktop. So it's definitely something I'm, I'm going to use. Here's all my apps, right? And so it'll give me a chance to manipulate and work off my phone. And I think if the phone does have um, some nice power, and so I'll see how much of that power I can actually use. Right? So that's it for this video. Um, again, if you have not subscribed to the channel, do so. If you want to see more videos like these where I talk about the Samsung S10 Plus, which is a phone that I have now and I'll be using this for a while, um, then let me know in the comments below. Uh, also, hit the notification bell if you haven't. Um, so that you can see whenever I post new videos. And like always, guys, this is just another one of those episodes where I just urge you to go and geek yourself.